So we've got an egg take underway at the Bell Irving Hatchery here. There's the white melt out of the male, and one drop of that stuff can fertilize several thousand eggs. So they're taking care not to get any fluids like bile from the gallbladder, which could provide a medium the to grow fungus. Reposition this guy's. We have an exceptionally large meal. It's just pee. No. <laughs> no, that's no, no, it's not what you said it was. <laughs> that is called melt, M I L T. So that is in the beginning. He it's urine. Oh, yeah. We're inside the incubation room. There's your milk and there's your eggs. And as long as they're not exposed to water or each other, these will sit in kind of suspended animation for quite a while. As long as they don't get too warm or too cold or get exposed to water or sunlight. And rather than count them one by one, we're going to do our arithmetic. <laughs> we have Chris's spreadsheet there, which makes it a whole lot easier. And that's how we get a pretty good handle on how many are going into the incubation room today. <laughs> After the eggs have been fertilized and enumerated, they're going to go into these, what we call heath trays here. It's basically the Four Seasons Hotel for overwintering salmon eggs inside the hatchery facility. We got water coming in the top there. And it's going through all these trays. There's eggs in these ones already. Well, we've got these blue tarps on them because they're not too fond of too much light at this stage of their lives. So they'll be in the winter in here until they hatch. And once they've used their yolk sacs, they'll be outside on those tanks next spring. So this is when the magic happens. The milk has been added to these eggs and a little bit of water. And you see that foam there in the bucket? In salmon egg language that means, hey guys, we just got born. We're alive. So from here on in, they'll be ready to go into the incubators really quickly. Look how fast these clouds are moving. This stuff here is just disinfectant. Keep everything starting off on a nice clean slate so we don't have any kind of disease in our eggs. And that is all there is to it.